hello from beautiful Yosemite National Park. Today, Jack and I are gonna be hiking the four mile trail to Glacier Point. And if we have time, adding the Centennial Dome as well for a full trail guide of the four mile trail here in Yosemite, you can check the link in the description below. Four mile trail on its own is something like 9.6 miles round trip. With the Sentinel Dome, it's something like 10 and a half, 11. You have to kind of keep all these signs with a grain of salt. They tell you distances, but they're typically wrong. So in the full guide, I'll give you all the stats. And at the end of the video, I'll obviously give you that as well. Essentially what the four mile trail is doing is taking you from Yosemite's Valley to the top. Dealies to say, it's going to be a lot of climbing. I think it's like 3,600 feet, a ton, a ton of switchbacks. And what is kind of weird is that the trail seems to be paved. We are hiking this in the fall of 2022 where Glacier Gorge, I believe the name is the road, is closed. If it was open, you could make this a one-way hike and take the shuttle back down to the valley. For us today, that's not an option. For the Sentinel Dome, usually that's like a two-mile hike from the Glacier Gorge Road. But again, because it's closed for, I think, construction, it's the only way to get up to the dome. If this were basically any other time of year, that's Yosemite Falls there. But because we're here in the fall, it's all dried up. The world famous El Cap. We're just about two and a half miles in. Pretty uneventful so far in terms of the trail. The views obviously are beautiful. Uh, very popular. Leaving the first kind of main big switchbacks and then we're gonna work up there. You got some pretty cool views of world famous Half Dome as well. Very well marked. You get a mile to 1.6 miles to Glacier Point from here. Very weird to see all of this clearly established area here with nobody here because it's closed. But a beautiful lodge. All right, top of uh, Glacier Point here. Really, really pretty spot. Definitely soak it in. To the top here, just about five miles. And we're gonna continue on and tag Sentinel Dome. Elevation gained here, 3,200 feet. You can actually see some waterfalls that are still running um, Nevada and Vestal, I believe. I can't remember the two names, but um, which is pretty cool. The first waterfalls we've seen all day. Really nice actually to have the road closed because it's very quiet up here compared to, I'm sure when it's open, it's probably a zoo. So with Glacier Point this way, the lodge here, in order to get to Sentinel Dome, we're gonna go this way. Very well marked Sentinel Dome. Is this way. There has been a bold face lie though because the bottom trail sign said it was 4.6 to here and then 5.2 to the dome. Then when you get up here they bait and switch you because it's a mile and a half to the dome. We're already here so we're doing it. Thank you. 
this is a pretty crucial junction. You're gonna wanna go left towards Sentinel Dome. It's half mile away. If you go right, you will have no option to go to the dome and the trails are endless. So uh, you can actually end up at the valley with 13 miles if you really wanted to send it. Quite a bit more climbing from the glacial point to here, but we're almost there. Hopefully the views are good. Top of the Sentinel Dome here, just about 6.3 miles to the summit. So this is gonna be like a 12 and a half, 12.6 mile day, plus our little walk back to the parking lot. So quite a lengthy trip, but beautiful up here. I think the views you get of the valley itself are better on the way up, but the views you get of the mountains and of the half dome and just kind of the other side of Yosemite you really didn't get to see if you were just starting at the, um, at the valley it is worth it to come up here. Uh, we have the summit to ourselves and we won't linger too long because we have quite a long hike back down. When the road is open, I think there's like a two mile version of this. So definitely worth it even if you're just doing that. But the Sentinel Dome, a uh, really cool spot here. And um, yeah, happy that we added on the little bit of extra distance to get up here. In terms of climbing, this is like a 4,200 foot day. So quite a bit of climbing as well to get up here and uh, yeah, save your legs because the way down is not gonna be easy either. To get back down to the car, you're just gonna retrace your steps. Everything's well marked. Don't typically show the way down unless it's different than the way up. But I would just say this, four mile trail and the Centennial Dome combo is definitely a great long day hike here in Yosemite, highly recommend it. Really any time of year that you can access it, I know I'm sure some months you can't get in here, but in the winter, if you could get up here, I'm sure it would be really beautiful. So we missed it the first time up, but this is the view from Glacier Point. Pretty similar to where we stopped before, but you can just kind of see down into the valley more, which is really cool. As you're coming up the four mile trail, it might be really tempting to just snag the first view point that we went to, but definitely head over to Glacial Point. It's a really unique perspective of the valley. You can see all the way down to the lodge and Curry Village. Definitely is worth the time. And if you we're just looking for a photo op, it could be very easy to miss. Back down to pretty much the initial parking area and our stats for the day are gonna be about a little over 12 and a half miles for both the Sentinel Dome and uh, the four mile trail with Glacier Point elevation gain, 4,300 feet. So just doing rough math here, it's about nine and a half miles if you didn't do Sentinel Dome and then Dome and then adding on you know those three if you do um yeah great day if you're new to my channel welcome go ahead and throw this video a thumbs up if you found it at all useful helpful i do virtual trail guides i'm based in colorado but have stuff all over the united states outside of the united states and every hike i post here there's a free trail guide that is linked to my website as well so go ahead and check that out those are super helpful on behalf of jackie and myself Thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next adventure.